What is going on, guys? It is your girl, Janiqua A, and I am back with another reading for you guys. Who? Excuse me. Whew. If nobody told you guys today, I love you, and I know all your dreams and aspirations matter because they do. So let's tap in collectives. Let's see what you got going on. Um, I don't know if I'm going to post this reading on... Um, white witch terror or everything woke i'm gonna keep this open all right depending on where this reading is going on over there on white witch terror we strictly focus on relationships that are going through karmic endings and everything woke gives you a more expanded um amount of topics all right to look through so let's tap in archangel michael and allegra please protect me as i channel this energy for the collectives and let's see Let's see what you need to know, collectives. Archangel Michael and Allegra, for, um, clear all my chakras, right? Clear my mind, my body, and my spirit. Clear all my um, chakras and my vessel, right? All right, the game master. So the Knight of Swords, off the back, somebody is smart as fuck. <laughs> this is a masculine that is smart as fuck. You hear me? They are a master. At whatever that they are doing. All right. They are a game master. So for some of you guys, this 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 person is is a master at playing whatever game you want to play. You hear me? I'm seeing them knocking their comp their opponents over. All right, with the fire and the knowledge and how swift this person is a a, a swift action um taker. All right, I'm seeing 144. This person is part of the 144,000. All right, but they have the gift of the mind. All right, this person can even be playing stupid, but they it's, it's a method to their madness is what I'm getting. All right. Somebody is a master at, 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 the, at the mind, all right? And making making conscious decisions like acting swift like acting very swift not allowing anybody to even get a chance to like win all right i'm also getting like a boss i'm getting like a mafia like i'm getting like somebody that that is very wise you can have a conversation with them like they're very they're very smart all right this is somebody that looks like they don't play no games when it comes to their business. You know what I'm getting? I'm getting like, you know how you watch a movie, like a crime movie, and you go see the top boys. But when you go through, you go through like a bar or a, or a, 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 a club. And then you meet this person and this person is all the way by themselves, dressed nice and playing a game of checkers or chess by themselves. Like mastering their mind by themselves. Like this is somebody that's important. Is what I'm seeing. Is what I'm feeling too. They like to wear nice glasses. Is what it's looking like. They like to dress sharp. All right. They like to be dressed for the occasion. All right. Three, 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 three. Damn. They're always ready. They're always in alignment with something. This could be the person that's in uh, like a club vibe. I'm just getting like a party vibe, but that is just to themselves. All right. Rather doing something. I don't know. <laughs> so tell me more about this energy. This is a cool like energy, y'all. All right. The Eon. So off the bat, because this is the world card. Um, I mean, is this the or this is the judgment? Let me see. Hold on, y'all. One second. The universe. The eon is the judgment card. Yeah. All right. And the eon is about seeing yourself. And your life as part of a greater cycle. All right. It's it's actually reflect, reflecting on your ancestors and all the work that 
you know, your ancestors and your spirit guides and God and your loved ones have, have did before you. It's about honoring these things and these different traditions to keep it going, not staying stagnant, being inspired by so many people that done things before you that you now have more control and the power to do it better and at a more grand scale. All right. So off the bat, I see somebody really taking somebody is about to take life very seriously. All right. Somebody has been making the right moves and now it's time to to create history. Now it's time to stop playing small night of smalls. Now it's time to really take it to that next to that next level. All right. This is like a huge judgment call for somebody like, are you going to be the master at what you're doing and doing it for the right reasons? All right. Are you going to be inspired by all the people that you knew that is no longer here that that didn't have the opportunity to do what you're doing in the right way? Are you going to do that? All right. Somebody has the option and the opportunity to take all of their whatever that they learned. And upgraded a notch. All right? Upgraded a notch. Somebody is already a master at the Knight of Swords energy. So, Matt, imagine, imagine as the king. The king of swords. That's what, that's what you need to be ready for. All right? There's an upgrade in, in mentality here. That somebody is being given a choice in. To upgrade your mentality. To utilize those same things. Like, I'm getting like, this is somebody that... That knows a lot of street smarts. All right. I'm just getting like a, a real smart person. But somebody needs to to upgrade that and finally do the things that's, that wasn't done from your past past over loved ones. The past people. You got you got the chance. This is like I'm getting like you. This is a calling. All right. God is sending out a calling to you. Are you going to answer the call? For real. Are you gonna answer the call? Is what I'm what I'm seeing. There's been a lot of time that that you've been that that has been passed and experienced to where now you got this opportunity again. A lot of shit is changing this season. So this is a call, all right? Are you gonna answer that call? All right, the will of fortune. All right, the will of fortune. The will of fortune is all about shit changing. I'm seeing 10, 10, 10. All right, this is a whole comic completion for somebody. All right, there's an ending happening. All right, where it's time to take life more serious. All right, I see somebody went through last cycle. All right, and last the last chapter of their life, and they didn't take life too serious. All right, let me actually see what that's saying. Hold on one second, y'all. These is nothing but major arcana cards out here, aside from the ten, to, to the Knight of Swords. So this is all about maturity here and starting to really use your, your brains. Starting to really use your brains and stop playing a game with yourself is what I'm getting also. All right. Um, hold on. So it says for this will of fortune, as we considered justice just recently in our journey, we remarked upon one universal and one known truth. Life is not fear. And fate, it is often said, is fickle. So something was fated. All right. And whatever that you chose or are about to choose to change your life. All right. It is not going to feel fear to a lot of people. Like in every cheesy carnival game, you will pass in Coney Island. Oh, for some of you guys, you might be from Brooklyn. All right. Literally, this definitely looks like Coney Island. All right. So for some of you guys, you're from Brooklyn. But anyway, 
It says, like, like every cheesy carnival game, you will pass in Coney Island. Life often comes down to a simple game of chance. A rigid game, sometimes, certainly, but never discount the power of fate to throw the unexpected your way. Anything can happen. Anything could change. But you got to be willing to make that first move. Sometimes you go up, sometimes you go down, but the wheel will never stop turning. Okay? The wheel of fortune represents the force of random chance in the universe. It is the sudden windfall and the unexpected tragedy. All right? The stroke of impossible good luck and the cruel and ironic accident. No matter how well we plan or how hard we try. We can never be fully prepared for what may happen. Neither a positive nor a negative card in itself. The will of fortune is simply reality of living in a constantly changing world. It is up to us to choose how we will face that change. All right. So again, somebody is small and enough. Somebody not wanting to keep being on that hamster wheel of karma, repeating the sick repetitive like um cycles. All right, somebody is ready for that good fortune. So this is a judgment call to change, and anything could happen with the move that you are about to make. It's not about your financial status. All right, God is not looking for your financial status. All right. This is also not about blaming, about keep it, keep, keep going. All right. Stop second guessing if good luck won't come your way and just act. Wow. That card was amazing. I never really read that card. Spirit, what else does the collective need to know? All right, ruin. Ooh. So what I'm seeing right now, this next move that you are about to make is about to ruin a lot of people and is going to feel very unfair for a lot of people. All right, this move that you are making because you are a master at this game you are very smart all right you've gained all of the knowledge and the wisdom for you to upgrade into that king of swords energy all right and with this judgment card with this knight of swords all right this move that you are about to make all right first of all is about to blow out the competition And then it's going to expand you. You're going to leave back history with the with the move that you make. You're going to break generational curses. All right. You're going to break these chains, these family chains. All right. You're going to break these cycles. And that's going to leave back history. And when I tell you justice is not all the time understood. And it's not all the time fair in somebody's eyes. And there's going to be a lot of people that feel like you switched up with this will of fortune. There's going to be a lot of people that feel like the chance you took wasn't fair. Somebody is going to be, somebody is going to feel like they lost a game. All right. And it's going to ruin somebody's spirit or, or, or motive. Is what I'm seeing. All right. Yeah. At the bottom of the deck. Disappointments. All right. This could be a lot of arguments in the house. This could be a lot of breaking shit. This could be a lot of people throwing things in the house. And breaking um, glass. And and uh, plates. And cups. All right. They could be breaking. Y'all could have had like some sort of um, dresser. Or... I forgot what you call these. This could have been broken. There's a lot of... Somebody is mad. All right? Somebody feels like you ruined their life because you chose to 
to change. You chose to, to wisen up. That's what somebody feels. Somebody feels like you destroyed their life. And you was the result of the disappointments because you chose better. And that, <coughs> excuse me. And that's why you got to always remember when you stop, when you get off that hamster wheel of foot, that hamster wheel of karma, a lot of people going to think it's unfair. All right. Because a lot of people are still not ready to get off of that or change. All right. You are smart. You are somebody that's very intelligent and that is a skilled mastermind. Knight of Swords. A game master. The next move you made or the next, the, the move that you made, it blew out the competition again. And you cleared. You did something with history here. You answered the call. All right. You received that call. You answered that call. All right. And that call was to place judgment on your life and I don't it's, it's not going to be fair to a lot of people alright a lot of people not going to feel like that's fair alright a lot, a lot of people not going to feel like the doors that's opening for you is not fair because you left them behind alright and they're going to feel like they lost but that's okay because again justice is not likely understood or, or seen as fair by the people that's causing the injustice all right, spirit. Um, spirit, give me more on this king of swords, this knight of swords, this game master, please and thank you. All right, heartbreak. I'm telling you that move that you've made is going to leave a lot of people heartbroken because now you're realizing a lot of hard truths and you're realizing that truth requires change. And the change that you are making is very uncomfortable for a lot of people. A lot of people are heartbroken. The change that you are making is very uncomfortable to people. You're moving smarter. You're working smarter, not harder. You're choosing the right decisions now. You're, lo you're no longer a doormat. You're no longer having a narcissist tell you what to do. You are no longer being a narcissist. That's what fucks somebody up. When you was somebody, like say if you was somebody that talked about somebody or you was and you change. Oh, they want to keep you back in that. that. That's what kills people. So yeah, a lot of people are going to be upset and heartbroken because you broke the cycle. Of disappointment. You broke the cycle of lack. You broke the cycle of not changing. Truth requires change. All right. Change in a relationship. So that's that's that judgment call. Are you going to stay back in a hamster wheel of karma? Or are you going to be willing to break people's hearts a couple of times to get what you need? As long as you're not, you doing it for a good cause. All right? You can't expect everybody to feel what you're doing. You can't expect everybody to like your decision. And a lot of people are, 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 are devastated. Spirit, give me more on this um, judgment. Please and thank you. All right? The food card. All right? You are taking calculated risk. All right? You are no longer missing your opportunities because people are broken hearted or people are sad. That's not elevating you. All right. You know, truth requires change. And I see somebody changing and healing from a, a broken heart or from disappointment or failure. All right. This is a brand new beginning for you. You answered the call. All right. Judgment to the, to the full call. This is you answering a call. And the things that you are about to receive in your life are fresh partnerships, are fresh friendships, are people that are taking accountability of their lives. People that are interesting, people that are different, people that are aligned, people that are healed. This is a fresh new start with no baggage. All right. For a lot of you guys, you are the first person in your family or the group of friends or environment to say, fuck that. I'm hearing fuck love. Damn. You hear me? Sometimes we got to make head over heart decisions. As long as your heart chakra open, you don't have to feel bad for people. You don't have to feel remorse from people that people keep throwing you this pity party. Just so you won't make that wise decision. All right. You off to new beginnings. All right. New dreams. New in inspiration. There's a sense of weight lifted off of you. All right. As you answered the call, as you chose to change. 
All right, the Four of Pentacles. All right, so there was a lot of things that a lot of people kept holding on to in this material world. All right, these people that you are now leaving, all right, they still are having trouble with letting go. And that's why they can't go where you're going. You got to be ready to get off the hamster wheel of karma. And that's going to that's gonna require you to release everything that you thought made you. And to really define your character. All right? So the people that you left behind in this will, all right, they still not ready to release. They still holding on to dear life, to, to things and relationships. All right. These people don't even got it. These people are down to four pentacles. These people don't have no option. So they have to be stingy. So now can you blame them? That's why you can't place judgment on nobody because these people don't even have nothing to give. You can't even be mad at them. They can't even give you. All right. Damn the five of pentacles. You know why? Because they were so stingy with life. That they was they wasn't really valuing things. And now look at them. They went to the four pinnacles to really not having nothing to give. Alright, so I wouldn't even advise you to, to even expect nothing from these people. They can't give you nothing. They have nothing of value that you need right now after in this period of acceleration, in this period of fresh starts and new beginning, in this period of breaking generational curses and lack and poverty. All right, this is what you're breaking with this judgment. All right, you're learning from the people that's not here no more. All right, everything is being reflected back upon you, and you knowing like, uh uh, this is requires me changing. All right, and leaving these people, these people feel left out in the cold with you and without you. All right, these people really feel left out on the cold, and I'm getting with the time. I'm getting, it, it, it's going to be a real cold winter for, for a lot of people because you no longer in that season. All right. You no longer in that season. And for a lot of these people, they think just because they physically are around you that y'all in the same vibration. Y'all not. And that's why a lot of people are getting left behind. Five of Pentacles energy. These people are not off to fresh starts. These people are not off to new beginnings. They haven't learned the art of release and detachment. So when they see you shining, when they see you walking past, look, this is like y'all walking past and you bumping into them. All right. Look, look, what, look what you looking. This is like you, you seeing people and they really looking bummed out after two years, after five years, after four years, after five months. You walking past people, you like, damn, shorty. In high school, you was the man, homie. Fuck happened to you? These people, some people on drugs, heavy. All right, not taking care of themselves. All right? These people are doing bad. And that's why you can't expect these people to be happy for you. All right, because they ruined their own life. They ruined their own life. These people are ruined. It says ruined. I can, y'all can't see it. All right, they ruined their own life. All right, these people definitely could be like on drugs. All right, at one point you could have probably even sold drugs to these people. You hear me? And you realize like this is not the life I want to live. This is not. This is not this is not the life that I want to live. So yeah, these people are still stuck in the past. All right, holding on to things. They are in poverty. They are in poverty. Spirit, give me more on this ruin. You had the opportunity to change your life. You wasn't supposed to be a product of your environment. All right, they ruined their life with lies. All right, these people were thieves. All right, these people were thieves. They were they were robbing houses. They were robbing your information. They were scamming. They was doing all of this stuff. At one point, when are you going to stop? When you don't have no goal or aspiration to to get up out of a certain mentality after you re reach a certain level. 
your life will be ruined. As you can see, these people, all these, these people lives are ruined. These are people that you know you can't trust because they're going to steal from you. You know, like, these are people literally giving all fiend vibes. Like, these are people, like, you know you got to have all your money, your pocketbook, your wallet, everything around you, around these people because these people quick with their hands. <laughs> these people quick with their hands and quick with their words, too. All right. Look, but you they wasn't quick enough. All right, they wasn't sneaky enough because the, the six of cups is is in the reverse is you not going back to the past. All right, game master, master the art of emotional manipulation. You're not feeling sorry for these people no more. You're not allowing them to trick you back into the hamster wheel of karma. All right, you leaving people right where they at and that's in poverty because they ain't got nothing to do with you. All right, they ain't got nothing to do with you. All right, you you on bigger and better things. You you not worrying about no history. All right, and because you're not allowing history to over over exceed the present. All right, you allowing yourselves to new beginnings, fresh thoughts. All right, these people are stuck in the past, and you are not. You are not ruined. Okay, you are not, baby. Fairy, give me more on that six of cups in reverse. All right, you are not ruined. They are because they know that you're not going back. It's over for that emotional manipulation. Oh, come do this, come do this. I got this for you. I got that. No, no, you are a mastermind. All right, you breaking that cycle. All right, and it's leaving a lot of people heartbroken. So that's what I have for you guys. I love you and I hope that helps.